Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm Eris Chris. Thank you for joining me once again for another beer review. And today, guys, something kind of special. Um, I'm in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania here. So Trogues just moved to Hershey, just opened their new brew house, and they just released a little bit late this year their uh, Nug of Nectar, which is an imperial amber ale um, coming at 7.5 percent of course you guys i'm sure have heard of nugget nectar it's a very highly touted uh imperial style beer on beer of a kid some people call it a double ipa an ipa and they call it imperial amber ale don't have a bottle of it i could get a bottle of it but hey i can get a draft of it it's super fresh <laughs> this is a growler full of their nugget nectar um, it's about six days old at this point so super fresh let me get into glass so you guys know it smells tasting with the verdict on Trogues, Nugget Nectar, and Pure Amber Ale. All right guys, so the appearance on the Nugget Nectar 2012, well, it's an Imperial Amber Ale, lives up to that name. Um, it's a beautiful kind of dark golden rust orange brown on the top. As it gets to the curve, the bottom of the curve of the glass, it's a golden uh, kind of yellow. There's a beautiful three to four finger of a kind of an off-white head, very, very slightly off-white khaki head, nice, uh, kind of foamy, ice creamy type of white bubbles on there, sticking around like crazy. Um, just a beautiful looking beer, crystal clear, obviously a filtered beer. Nice alcohol lacing on, uh, excuse me, alcohol legs on there. Nice uh, head lacing on this one. Overall, just an impressive looking IPA. All right, the aroma on the Nugget Nectar. Wow, yeah, I mean, you can definitely see why people search this one out. The first impressions I get are big tropical fruits, papaya, peach, mango, just overly ripe characters streaming out of this one. But then you start to get kind of a West Coast character, the grapefruit, the pininess, a big kind of citrus element to it. Getting a big graininess in there, um, a pilsner kind of malt, a fruity pilsner malt as well. Slight alcohol, but it's really masked by the hops. Yeah, it's just it's kind of an astringency in there. It's just an overall, it's just a really big, hoppy beer that really doesn't lay too many roots to any certain location. It's really awesome stuff. All right, guys, the taste on the 2012 Trogues Nugget Nectar. Cheers. Right the front, wow, right the front of the tongue, there's a big, just overly astringent, uh, bitter hop note. Uh, middle of the mouth, it's all over the place. You're getting the big sweet kind of hop aromatics, the peach, mango, tropical fruits, but at the same time, you're getting the big astringencies from the Simcoe quality. You're getting the pininess from the West Coast in there as well. You're getting a big dry finish on this one. Aftertaste, I get more of the malt quality to it. There's a nice kind of caramel or toffee. Definitely getting a sweet kind of, uh, maybe a Pilsner malt in there as well. Yeah, wow, big dry finish. Overall, it's just a big hoppy beer and it doesn't lay claim to like a middle of the country, west coast, east coast. It just kind of takes all those hops and really incorporates them all together and just makes a really, really easy to drink beer. Just awesome stuff. All right, guys, so the final vertical in Trogues Nugget Nectar, 7.5% available. If you guys can get Trogues beers and six pack cases, single bottles, guys, I have to give this one an A. Um, for me, this is kind of the perfect combination of what a West Coast beer should be, what an East Coast beer should be, what a middle of the country uh, kind of IPA should be. You get sweet hops, bittering hops, you get citrus. Um, and then you get a big malt backbone, really, in this one. It's considered an imperial amber ale, so you do get those kind of coffee, uh, caramel and toffee notes as well. But really, the hop character just shines through in this one. And they're brewing on a new uh, brewing system as well. You guys may have known that Trogues moved, and this one just smells hoppier than ever. I'm really, really happy about it. It's super astringent, just super piney. Awesome, awesome stuff. I highly recommend it. 7.5%. It's super easy to drink. It's almost a session at that point, but it's really, really flavorful, really hoppy. Nice small backbone. Definitely check it out. Getting an A for me. It's a local favorite of mine, so I am biased, but hey, what are you going to do? So remember folks, life is too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.